season of recognition. Our season of manifestation. And our season of connection. Amen. Welcome back to the official opening of 2024 International Dominion Convention. My job here this night is very simple in this segment. It is to give my opening address. And I will ask you to take your manual. If you don't have any copy, please consult the protocol. Now, you are going to remain standing with me as we give thanks to God. Before we do that, I want to personally say a big thank you to the Almighty God, the owner of our lives, the sustainer of our lives, the one who gave us bread to spend, and the one who has made us relevant in his plan today. We thank him for keeping our church as a family, keeping our individual families, keeping our pastors, keeping our elders, keeping our deacons, keeping our leaders to see another great covenant season. Lord, may your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. In our appreciation to all you have done, we read Psalm, hallelujah, Psalm 136, Verses 1 to 14 simultaneously. So from your manual, I read verse 1, you read verse 2, until we get to verse 14. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of God for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lord for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endured forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endured forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endured forever, with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endured forever. I said the Lord shall block the highways of your enemies and it will make an expressway for you to pass through. In Jesus' mighty name. All right, you may be seated. Brethren, let us, okay, we have just done that. So, my test for my address is Luke 18.27. They say, the things which are impossible with men. Now we can say, the things which are impossible with the dust. Did you catch that? The things which are impossible with the mortal. The things which are impossible with the flesh. What happened to them? They are possible with God. Who is God? The Spirit are possible with the spirit. The message is getting clearer. And by the grace of God, what have been impossible all your journey, God, in this way, will release anointing for their possibilities. In Psalm 103, verse 19, Scripture said, The Lord has prepared his throne in the heaven." His kingdom ruled over all. His kingdom does not have protocols. 
He rules over all. Introduction. Praying through the convention for God's blessings, presence, and directions, the Lord gave me a new song. It reads, who shall go beyond the wall? Now, it means, who shall go beyond the dust? Who shall go beyond the mortar? And the chorus says, I shall go beyond the wall. Who are you? The Spirit. Praise God. Who are you? The Spirit shall go beyond the wall. In this convention, you shall hear this new song by Dominion Anointed Voices. In 2028, during our 40 days of fasting and prayers, God gave me a song. It reads, when the anointing is present, everything shall be present. And it is called us, O oh Lord, let the anointing be present so that everything and everything will be present. We had it this morning. If you don't know it, go back to the Facebook or YouTube and play the choir rendition this morning and you learn it. Again, in this convention, you shall hear this song over and over. These are songs that turn impossibilities into possibilities. Get ready for the reigns of supernatural blessings. During the year, especially during my hour of prayer, I heard the Lord say to me, divine sound determine acts of faith. The sound we hear determine the actions we take in all facets of life. So naturally, we are built to respond to sound. And the sound that will be coming down in this convention will be directing your destiny and driving your destiny to your destinations. Understand kingdom possibility. The theme for this year's convention is kingdom possibilities. The Lord says to me, my kingdom possibilities are tied to my kingdom promises. And this requires that the convention will be a time and a season to make a research, to discover. Jesus discovered what was written concerning him, and he became it. There's a word of God and the scripture concerning your life. This morning, many of us discovered our own, and we're already running with them. The pastors coming in will be helping us to discover the words written concerning us. And in our daily studies and, stu and um, reading, we shall be discovering a lot of words. I will say here together. My kingdom promises are the basis for my kingdom realities. Therefore, in this convention, we shall unveil the mysteries of kingdom life, kingdom blessings, and kingdom miracle. Remember, kingdom life comes before kingdom blessings. Kingdom life comes before kingdom blessings. In the morning, I told you three things about the kingdom character. You remember? Righteousness, peace, and joy. The more you will make yourself happy and free from argument and bitterness and pain, the more your manifestation in your possibilities will be visible. Are we here? Okay, so just keep to that. Kingdom life first. Kingdom blessings follows. The kingdom miracles are God intervening in those things that look like an end. Pushing them away. Miracle is God's intervention in the affairs of men. I see a lot of intervention in areas of our conclusions. The kingdom is a fountain of life. The Bible said, for thine is the kingdom, the power and glory. This talks about you are the source, you are the influence, and you are the carrier of the values. These are three. These three are what determines living. These three are what determine living. The kingdom, the power, and the glory. The kingdom talks about the place of authority. The, the power talks about the place of influence. And the glory talks about the place of value. 
What you believe is what you become. The word you hear, the word you believe, and act upon will determine the world you will live in and the value you will, you will attract. What you hear will determine what you believe. And what you believe will determine what you become. God is not man, and man is not God. But God decided that he will become man, so that man could become God. Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. That was a transaction. God became man, so that man can become God. That's why you are the spirit. Are we here? This is a deep spiritual synopsis, spiritual secret, and divine transactions, a transformative transformation. God decided to make man in his own image so that man could operate in the capacity of God. So that man will start living by his spoken word, not by his acting hand. You heard it in the morning. All right. Now, the supernatural dynamics. Scripture says, but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know, know them, because they are spiritually designed. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he is rightly judged by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? Somebody shout, for we have the mind of Christ. Come on, tell your neighbor, I am a spirit. Now, this passage reveals what God's possibilities, where God's possibilities began. It began with transformation from natural to supernatural. This is what this convention shall demand from us. Natural relate to natural. Spir why spiritual relate to spiritual? Be ready for the supernatural migration. Are we here? Uh, uh, Dr. Paul did not see this address until he came here this morning. But he knows the team. And so, and I believe that we're going to have these mysteries unfolded from time to time. God is a spirit. Until we become like God, we shall continue to see and view life in the natural and remain restricted and limited by nature. We must remember that we were redeemed to reign over the world. How many of you here believe? Redeemed by his blood and death. To reign and rule over the world around you. That's especially what God has designed for us. The law of possibility demands that we put on the mind of Christ. In Christ, all things are possible. Come on, help me tell your neighbor in Christ. All things are possible. Now, when you receive God into your life, you become one with God. And whatever is possible with God will become possible with you. But he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Luke 18, 27. For with God inside of you and I, nothing of life shall be impossible for you. And I say to you in this convention, every doors of impossibility shall be uprooted. Enter into the kingdom of possibility. Come on, help me tell your neighbor. Enter. In case you don't know how to enter, I'm here to push you in. I won't distract you, but I will push you in. Praise God. All right. Now, kingdom possibility. Therefore, it's a proposition that reveals what happened in a life that has found God. When we become one with God, we command authority and they say size power like God. How many of you here want to do exactly what God can do? 
Now help me tell your neighbor until you become like him. You will never be able to do like him. With God on our side, we can move mountains. We can, we can command heaven. We can do the impossible. Come on, shout where you are seated. I can do the impossibles. I just want you to personally get addicted to what we are trying to pump into your spirit. It's by the devil. For God was with him. When God is with you, then the impossible becomes very easy. Anointing breaks barrier, breaks the yoke of the impossible, and destroys the root of stagnation. The Lord has set up his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. His kingdom is the throne of his power, the seat of his presence. And his presence, all things shall become possible. In his presence, all things shall become possible. Conclusion. I therefore charge you, as we convene for this convention, to do the following. Number one, ensure you are born again. Ensure you are born again. You are in the covenant. Number two, ensure you are filled with the Holy Ghost. In case you are not. Desire to seek how you can be filled. Number three, ensure you are armed with the word of God. Be a student of the word of God and load your spirit. Create a word bank. Let God's word be stored in your spirit. Number four, be ready to present your request at the altar of prayer. Number five, be strategically positioned. To connect the anointing in all sections, morning and evening. And number six, everybody read with me. Release your faith, move your mountain, and enter your fountain of possibilities. Wishing you kingdom possibilities with visible proofs. God bless you. I hereby declare the right to your faith. By the grace of God, I hereby declare Kingdom Festival, our International Dominion Convention 2024 opened in Jesus' name.